Jawbone's origins date back to the late 90s when it was founded by a pair of Stanford students under the name Olive. The company soon secured DARPA funding to design communication equipment for noisy field environments, leveraging that research to create noise-canceling headsets for phone calls. An early prototype reportedly scored the Olive team an audience with Steve Jobs, but Apple's late co-founder bluntly rejected the wired headset. The company's innovations did manage to capture the more urgent support of designer Aves Bahar, who would come on board as a VP and design much of the company's products and packaging. It debuted the original Jawbone headset at CES in 2007, then branching out in 2010 with the hybrid Bluetooth speaker slash speakerphone, the Jambox, releasing its first up fitness band in 2011, the same year it officially adopted Jawbone as its company name. In the decades since the company released the first Jawbone headset, it's quickly enamored itself among Silicon Valley startup culture. It was at the forefront of a number of growing spaces, most notably wearables. The company has reportedly raised around $1 billion in funding, with a high water valuation north of $3 billion in 2011. That valuation was apparently halved by way of a much-needed investment from the Kuwait Investment Authority early last year. According to an email from its CEO that leaked out late last year, Jawbone was once again looking for fresh funding, as BlackRock, which gave the company a $300 million cash infusion, was said to be aggressively pushing the company to sell. Jawbone's reportedly dire financial straits were once again brought to light in the wake of an ongoing patent suit with our tribal Fitbit that sought to block Jawbone from selling its devices stateside. The charge maker ultimately dropped the suit, citing Jawbone's precarious finances. But the story doesn't end there. Whether it's keeping up appearances in hopes of securing more funding for a pivot, or genuinely building the next phase of the company already with money it held back from putting into its current live business, or something between the two, apparently there's more to come.